Ladies and gentlemen, my guest tonight is a comedian who hosts the Chris Gethard Show and the Beautiful Anonymous Podcast. Please welcome back to the show our friend, Chris Gethard. Hello, hey. sir. Nice to see you. You too. Have Last time we were together was shoosh, a year and a half ago. That long ago it was in November of 2016, I think. We were talking about uh, the the tension of like doing shows on election night. How stressful it was that particular election night. Yeah. Yeah. Although I was on public access, so you had more stress than I did. I don't know. I don't know. Public access, the cameras might not have been on. That's, <laughs> that's pretty true. stressful, too. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Okay, so, but now we're into the, the presidency following that election. What are you doing these days to keep calm? Uh, there's, I mean, there's not really much you can do. I tried, uh, I tried one of the classics. I tried yoga for the first time recently. Really? Did not go well. <laughs> Didn't really? go well. Where, where did, yeah. did you go, like a hot yoga situation? No, I, I don't have the guts for that. I was actually on vacation. I went to Sri Lanka with my wife. Wow. We, we went big on a vacation. Wow. And she's been telling me I got to try yoga. I have some joint problems. She's like, yoga would be great. Oh, yeah. Sri Lanka sounds like a great place to start. Yeah, right? Natural. <laughs> Most not, people start in Sri Lanka. Not only... <laughs> Where were we in Sri Lanka? She found a place. It was at the top of a mountain. You had to climb like hundreds of steps. There were monkeys in the trees as you climbed up. Okay. Get up there. There's a Buddhist sanctuary, giant statue of Buddha. Go in this pavilion. Everything's lining up for this to be like the ultimate first yoga experience. And then it just really went downhill fast, man. What? Went downhill. what? Did you well, not bring a mat? No, they had the mats there. The guy, it, it was going. The class was up and running. People were doing very hard things. I was in the back. I had made it clear at the start. We all had to introduce ourselves. I was like, I'm just tagging along with my wife, everybody. I don't do this. <laughs> you know, one of those. And then the guy was like, is anybody willing to demonstrate downward dog? Which was so much easier than the things we'd been doing. It's about as easy as it gets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And someone volunteered, did it. He was like, anybody else want to demonstrate it? Maybe a guy who's less experienced? And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> and then I, just, I stayed in the back. And then one more time, he's like, maybe you would help us out. And I was like, here we go. And I did it. And then I'm doing it, and he goes to the whole class. He goes, I would like, so I would like someone to give this man a number grade on his downward dog. <laughs> he goes, on a scale of zero to 100, how would you say he's doing? This is the first time I've ever, I've ever done it. And someone was like, I'd give him a 200, because he's trying really hard. Oh, yeah. that's nice. And the instructor goes, no, someone grade this man. <laughs> zero to 100. I didn't realize the Buddha was such an ass. <laughs> It was nuts. It was nuts. And then someone, out of pity, was like, I don't know, like a 50 or a 60? And the instructor goes, I would give him negative points. <laughs> and that's when, I, that's when I fell down. That's when I fell down. He was like an evil Chris Hartwick. He was like, negative points. You know, like, at, remember at midnight? No. The points? Remember, that's fair. I remember, I remember that's show. fair. Yeah, yeah. We'll just cut that. that. Was on Comedy Central? We'll cut this yeah, part out. It's fine. Edit this part that. right out. Basic cable, I don't yes, remember. Indeed, basic cable, indeed. Yeah. yeah, no. Well, that obviously, this leads to the, the one obvious question. Mm -hmm. Could I see your, your downward dog, please? It won't be good. <laughs> we will be the judge. It won't be good. We will be the judge. May we see your downward dog? It won't be good. Yeah. I can't really do okay. it. Okay, you can do it. You got the right shoes for it. Yeah, okay. One of these. That's pretty good. Hold on, stay there. Stay there, hold on. This is so much better than I did it. Yeah. This is so what much better think? than I did it. Thank you, you can get up now. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you can get up. Yeah. That was really good. Thank you. Yeah. It was like 10 times better than I did on the mountaintop. I almost got in a fight, I almost, I got to be separated from the guy after the class. The jersey in me really bubbled to the surface. Did it put you in a spiritual headspace? I mean, like, have you, like, uh, have you changed, like, did you get anything spiritual out of it? No, I mean, it, I was mostly just shouting at a man and had to be separated from him. Okay. Um, spiritual, I'm not the most spiritual guy. Uh huh. I've thought a lot about it. I, I think, like, uh, there, I, I, like, I really, there's, like, religions I've researched and love. I, like, I grew up Catholic. I think there's a lot of beautiful things about it. Uh -huh. I think Sikhism's beautiful. Quakers, I think, beautiful. Sure, Quakers uh, are nice. They got the, the, are they the friends? The friends, yeah. Yeah, the friends, and they sit in a circle, and they go, is how my day was, and that's yeah. church. Yes, I yeah. think that's beautiful. Isn't that it? Kind of like Yeah, that? a little bit, and you yeah. just say what you don't like about someone to their face. It's nice. 
But I think <laughs> if I was gonna if I was gonna get back into religion, I think I'd probably I'd probably go like try to start a cult or something. I probably oh start a cult, not I'd, join a cult. Start yeah, a cult. I'd, I'd like to think I'm a leader. You know, I'd like to think <laughs> I'm a leader, not a follower. No, that downward dog, you're not. <laughs> yeah. No. Have you done? Uh, do, you do show live. I do. Yeah, and I we've sometimes done our shows live, and it uh -huh. can be it can I guess we said it could be. Very tense and crazy things can happen. You have no control over it. Has, have you have things gone south for you? All the time. That's my favorite thing about live TV is that it's like actual disasters happen and they get to see me wallow in shame. I love that. Yeah. Can you explain? That's the best. Can you explain this? We got to go here, but very quickly, could you explain this photo for me right here? What oh, is? Oh. Yes. What is happening here? So. That was the last episode of my season last year. Um, Paul Shear and Jason Manzoukas were the guests. Yep. They actually convinced the whole studio audience to leave. That's true. To, to like screw me over. They were like, everyone, let's leave. And the only person who stayed was my wife, who's the band leader on my show. And then this turtle hung out. So the season ended with me just sitting in shame next to a turtle that was loudly eating lettuce. <laughs> just loudly eat, chomping on lettuce while I just mumbled about how I often feel like a failure. <laughs> I think that's good comedy. I think that's the start of a good cult. Thank you so much. Thank Chris, you so much, sir. Good to see you. Thanks for being Pleasure. here. Pleasure. The Chris Gethard Show returns live to True TV on March 20th. And that's Chris Gethard, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Portugal, the man.